Hello and welcome to Web Design and Development course using HTML5 and CSS3. This is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS3. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. The prerequisites for this course are the following. Sublime Text Editor and a web browser. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. Now let's move on to our lesson. Section 9, HTML5 and Forms. Lesson 9.1, HTML5 Form Elements. HTML5 Elements and Attributes. Now that we have learned about HTML form elements in versions prior to HTML5, it's time to learn what's new. And there are quite a lot of exciting new features we can implement. It doesn't make sense not to implement them now, as in most cases, we'll just get a plain old text box if a browser doesn't support the new element. The HTML5 elements and attributes we'll explore are placeholder, required, email, URL, number, range, date and time, search and color. The first HTML5 form elements we'll take a look are placeholder and required, which are attributes rather than a real form element. For a complete list of codes and classwork in this lesson, please check Google Classroom. Thank you.